Hi there, Consumer Math students. Today's lesson is going to continue where we left off yesterday when we calculated the state income tax. Today we're going to do it using a graduated state income tax system. So yesterday we had just a flat rate. So we talked about Pennsylvania's tax rate being 3.07% or other tax rates being at 3.5% or 3.2%. Using the graduated tax system, this is going to work like we did when we calculated the federal income tax, and we are going to walk through a series of percentage rates based off of your salary. So the more money that you earn per year means the higher the tax bracket you will be in and the more higher the tax rate will be. All right, so... Once we've completed that, then we're going to figure out how much taxes are taken out per pay. So our graduated income tax is a system that increases the tax rate at different levels. All right. From chapter one, we had to figure out what our salary was per pay. So we're going to do the same thing. So this formula is going to look similar to that. So we're going to take our tax that's withheld per pay period. So that's consisting of the annual tax that is going to be withheld that we're going to calculate today on the graduated level. And then we're going to divide it by the number of pay periods per year. So in chapter one, we reviewed that if it was monthly, we would divide by 12. If it was weekly, we would divide by 52. If it was bi-weekly, we would divide by 26. Or semi-monthly, we divided by 24. So you're going to need to make that your last step when calculating our tax for the state. Okay, so what we're going to use is a generic table today that walks us through four different tiers. Now, if you only make $1,000 in the year, you're only going to be situated on tier one. If you make $3,000, then you're going to jump to the next tier. So every time you go up over $5,000, you're going to be at that 5% tier, but you're still going to utilize the three tiers below it. So let's look how this works. So Amy is single and receives a biweekly paycheck and her annual salary is $43,250. Now her bi-weekly paycheck, remember bi-weekly means that she's going to get paid 26 pays per year. What her, are her state taxes on the graduated scale per year? Now because she is at $43,250, she's at tier four. So we're gonna make it all the way down here till we hit tier four. Now the first thing I'm going to figure out are what are her exemptions. So we got to calculate that taxable wage. And her taxable wage is going to be 43,250 since she's single with no dependents. We're just going to take $2,000 out of that. And her taxable wage will be $41,250. All right, so now we're going to take the series of the graduated scale. So out of that 41,250, the first 1,000 of it is going to be paid at the 1.5% level. So we're gonna take 1.5% times the first $1,000. Then we're going to take 3% of the next $2,000 and we're going to take four and a half percent of the next two thousand dollars so you can see that we've used up five thousand dollars out of her gross taxable wage all right so our last tier is going to be at five percent but she's going to pay five percent on what is left so we're going to take that taxable wage and we're going to subtract out the first five thousand from the first three tiers and then we need to do all of our calculations. So when I calculate this out, the first 1.5% gives me $15. The second 3% gives me $60. The third tier 4.5% gives me $90. 
when I calculate what is left, she's left with $36,250 for tier four at 5%. When we calculate that, this is where the big chunk comes in, she has to pay $1,812.50 at that fourth tier. But she also has to pay the 90, the 60, and the 15 for a total yearly state income tax of $1,977.50. Now, I don't want to forget this part. We want to know how much is taken out biweekly. So we're going to go back to our original and we're going to divide by 26 pays. And she is going to be taking out $76.06 per pay, or her employer is going to be taking that out and sending that amount of money to the state. So what happens here, to recap, she had to walk through the first $5,000 at different tiers, and then what is left over from the fourth tier is taken out at a much higher rate of 5%. We add all those together, we find the yearly state tax and we divide it by the number of pays per year. And that's how much state tax is withheld. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to pause the video. And I want you to complete concept check number one on page 136. When you are ready, play the video and you can see my solution worked out for that problem. So welcome back. So in number one on page 136, you can see that we have again met the fifth tier once we take the exemptions out. So at the exemptions, the total salary was 19350 That takes us to tier four. So again, we're going to walk through this system just like we did with Amy's paycheck. One and a half at 1000 3% at 2,000, 4.5% at 2,000, and then we've got to take what is left out of that pay. So we're actually, so I had 5% of the 19,000, that's really 5% of 14,350 after I take out that first $5,000. That's going to give us a total state tax of $882.50 and we're going to divide that by 26 pays for a total of $33.94. I hope that you are understanding. If you aren't, please send me an email and I can further explain these problems. Look on Google Classroom for your assignment for this lesson. I hope you have a great day.